Hey guys, welcome back. This is Odd One Gaming with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today, what I want to talk about is one of the new updates that popped yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Everybody's talking about it, and I said, well, might as well let me let me mention a few things and give my opinion on on the update itself. So I'm not going to talk about the faction wars, the, the reworking of like the artifact filters and all that, and any other of the like champion changes because that's that's not what i want to focus on today what i want to focus on is the new chaos ore that came into the game so what this one does is basically it will change the sub stats and the main stats of your pieces that you choose to select and just give you a random something else there are four options here four star legendary uh, five star legendary six star epic and six star uh, uh five star epic Sorry, so 6 star legendary, 6 star epic, 5 star legendary, 5 star epic. What this one means is basically if you want, if you get like a piece of gear that's, let's say, has a quad flat HP, like on a 5 star legendary, you could re-roll that and it could give you something with a percentage. Or if it's a speed set, it, give you, it could give you speed or accuracy in perception, for example, or any other of, of those choices. So... What I want to do is like give you my opinion and tell you what and how I would use it on and I'm going to use the two ones that I have after rolling several gear, I had like 45 million silver earlier, start the rolling gear to prepare and see if there's something that's worth rolling because right now I'm quite sure most of you, like myself included, you wouldn't keep if you rolled on, I don't know, speed piece. Uh, triple or quad flat HP or flat defense or any of the rubbish stats so definitely it's quite hard to find at this point something like that in your account however uh, if you do have one of those things you could use it on one of your pieces I'll give you an example uh, let's let me go to the fitting room and go to equipped close these ones again actually I'm not gonna close it because they're gonna open again let's go to for example the epic and the six star epic ones the pieces that I the sets that I would use this one on would be speed set, divine speed set, maybe accuracy but not as much. Uh, you could argue you could use it for savage as well. And the most important in my opinion would be perception. Also the the pieces that would uh, it would work the best on would be the top three pieces, especially the weapon and the shield because their base stat which is on weapon attack on shield defense they will never change just the substats will change and then you have the helmet which i think that's like the third most important one because the weapon can give you like all of the substats possible on on the the helmet can give you all the substats the weapon cannot give you defense or defense percent as an example and the the shield cannot give you attack or attack per, uh, percentage as a substat which is a good thing on the bottom pieces, for example, on the on the boots, I would never use it on the boots because it doesn't matter what, what it gives you. You, 99% of the time, would like speed boots. So whatever substats it gives you, you don't want to risk RNG to get like one in a gazillion uh, chances to get a perfect like speed boots with, I don't know, triple or quad accuracy. You're not going to do that. On the chest as well, I wouldn't use it either, only on divine speed or speed sets because you're you're praying to get that quad speed on it or triple speed on it from like a triple flat or triple anything else uh the reason why i'm saying this one's not as important is because maybe lots of times you would like this one to be an hp percent defense percent attack percent accuracy so there's too many options that you would like care for this one to to roll on the gloves though it's a different story on the gloves i feel like this is like from the bottom uh, from the bottom pieces is the most important and the best one you could choose to re-roll on however on specific sets which is especially perception and speed divine speed and again maybe accuracy because for these types of pieces if you have a double a triple quad rolls on like whatever that's not suiting you 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 might be able to as an example perception you might re-roll that it might give you a triple quad speed or triple quad accuracy and that's really useful when you're thinking about using it on somebody like uh, i don't know madame or a warlord or a kaimar so any arena specific champions that's why i'm specifically saying you don't really care about the main stat obviously you would like it to be an hp percent defense percent for like those defensive champs but that's not the most important one 
another option that could be pretty decent let's say but it's again arena specific is the the banners and let's say you get one of those uh reaction banners that are like really good and everybody's looking for them to get on their arena champs like an example of this one if this one would have had i don't know a triple quad roll on anything i might have rolled it to try and get that speed on it or anything else of course, there is lots and lots of RNG involved with it, but, well, that's the name of uh, Raid Shadow Legends, it's RNG. So, uh, the tricky thing that I'm thinking about this one is, uh, now, everybody, when, when we start farming, uh, let's say we use an RSL helper, we put our settings to sell certain, certain artifacts in there. So, as an example, for mine, I have mine to sell everything that's 5-star epic or lower and uh, it, sometimes I put to sell the six star rares as well at the same time I have to sell all the bottom pieces that have attack uh, they have all the uh, any of the flats like attack HP or defense flat because of this new thing because of the chaos or I will have to change that I will have to keep all my flats and it's gonna cost me it's gonna cost me more time trying to go through those pieces rolling them up let's say I would get I don't know a uh, flat attack piece in speed that has a speed uh, substat. Normally that one would be sold on my account if it's 5 star. If it's 6 star I would keep it. If it's 5 star that one would be sold. Now I would keep everything even if it doesn't have like an example it doesn't have speed sorry. So if it doesn't have speed because in the RSL you can select it to keep stuff with speed. So if it doesn't have speed you don't care anymore you're gonna keep all the crappy pieces. Let's say that one's like I said, flat attack and it rolls you whatever, but it rolls you quad. You would obviously try your luck on that one, use the use the chaos or and see if it can give you a quad speed. Again, you wouldn't care what the what the what the main style would be, because that quad speed in a speed set, it's like a miracle. It almost never happens. I don't have one on my account. I think I have like two or three triple rolls. Um, another thing that's gonna be extremely tricky and it's gonna be uh, really costly. Is gonna be the silver because of this RNG and because of what I mentioned previously with trying to keep and getting the quads in whatever just to try your luck to reroll it to reroll it with the chaos or you're gonna need more and more silver to get everything to level 8 to level 12 and so on just to in hopes of getting that triple quad roll so as an example if you would have a weapon you roll it you would never you would usually just roll it to four to see if it gives you speed or accuracy if it's like really bad now you would roll everything to level eight at least and hope for a double doesn't matter on what hope for a double then you would roll it to 12 and see if it gives a triple and then obviously you would go roll it to 16 and get for uh, and hope for the quad on it and this will happen on every single piece that are like uh, these ones or even even the top ones even the top ones if you have like crappy substats but they're legendary or epic in six star like for example on my account the chaos or for uh, five for the five uh, for the rank five uh, epic ones it's not gonna help me that much like to be fair a 20 speed on a speed set it's gonna be good but uh, I wouldn't care as much so maybe I don't know I guess if I'm gonna get it I'm gonna use it on speed maybe perception but that's about it so the thing is, it's gonna cost us so much silver to roll everything up that it's, I don't know, it's, it's gonna be insane and it's, it's gonna be a headache for me now as well. I usually try to keep lots of silver, but it's gonna cost me even, even more. So there's gonna be a lot more uh, running spider to do, a lot more saving silver. And again, we have the same issue. Silver is a problem in this game. Hopefully one day they're gonna come up with an idea to, uh, and ways for us to get more silver, not just crazily farming spider 24 7 just to have the silver anyway i've rambled enough uh what i'm trying to do now is let me see let me try and see what pieces i could use it well what pieces i could use my my chaos or on so let me just go to equipped let me go to rank reality so i have one that's for epic six star okay so like i said the ones that i would care about would be speed uh like maybe savage but i don't know how much i mean for savage for the especially on the top ones for the savage ones you would care to get uh maybe those triple quad speeds crit rates or crit damage so savage could be another good option uh i've i've checked this a little bit i've i've talked for quite a bit i've already checked and prepared some pieces let me double check 
which one I prepared. I think, I think for this one, because like I mentioned, nobody's gonna keep, nobody has kept up until now, like their triple or quad flat HPs, flat defense, or like any any of the bad rolls. Or by the time you see that you get double, double flats, you would have sold. So another thing to mention, it's gonna change the way people will, will cleanse their gear a lot more. Like I mentioned previor, previously, with rolling it with what we keep and so on. So enough rambling, let's have a look, see how this one actually works. Uh, like I said, I looked earlier through my pieces and rolled some stuff to try and get something that's decent, that's uh, worth rolling. I got this roll earlier, so that's a good one. Uh, let me have a look. And okay, so I, I prepared this one. This is something that, for example, it's it's worth rolling. So you would go to upgrade, then you go here to rework, and you would choose this one. Obviously, we wouldn't use the legendary one. It's the same thing as you wouldn't use a legendary book on an epic champion, epic one on a rare, and all that stuff. So obviously, I would use the six star epic one, and hope, like I said, because it's a glove, and this is something that. I wouldn't really care what it's the main stat, as long as it gives me like a triple speed or triple accuracy, I'm happy. So let's roll it and see what luck we get. We might get something worse, we might get something the same, but I guess, you know, it's better than nothing. And I don't know, <laughs> let's give it a shot. Come on, let's see, rework, are you sure you want? Yes. Okay, let's see, do we get lucky? Okay, no speed. Oh, ho -ho! okay. Okay, okay, so this is the good thing about it. Oh my god, this was, whoo, I swear to god I didn't expect this. But look at this, this is what you would hope to get on like a, on like a glove. Even if this one would have be, wouldn't have been defense percent, which is insanely good now, it would have still be good. Triple accuracy with a, with a max H, I think this one's like close to max accuracy roll on triple. Max one could have been, I think, 46. With the speed, this is this is just insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I didn't expect that. I was gonna be like, you know, I don't know what to say. It's good, it's it's bad, it's awesome. So if we get luck like this, it's freaking awesome. Okay, that one's a keeper. Thank god. Oh my god. Whew, my warlord's gonna love that. Okay, now uh, let me check for the six star legendary ones. For the six star legendary ones, I've I've looked through my speed gear, I've looked through my other stuff, and like I said, I didn't keep. Let me have a look again. Like this triple crit rate with speed, I wouldn't I wouldn't reroll it. I'm the triple crit rate is still a good a good stat. So I have nothing else. Again, this triple defense one with speed and and resistance, I don't know if I would risk it. There are low rolls as well. I don't know if I would risk on this one. I would rather have like really crappy rolls, like I don't know triple flats or quad flats. Preferably, you would want to try and use the reroll on a quad, like on the max possible roll it can get you. You try and use it on on that. So this one, it's like this one might be like maybe some people would say roll this one. I don't want to do it because I think a defense percent one with an HP triple substat it's it's pretty pretty awesome for me. Like I love it. It's on my Badal build which I'm using to solo Ice Golem, so it, it and solo Dragon 35. So I'm not gonna reroll that. But yeah, I think I've had a look through these. Obviously not boots. Let me just double check to see if we can get the... If I have anything in perception. Why do I keep clicking though? I still need to get used to it. Okay, let's see. So over here, again, only doubles. If I see only doubles, I don't really care. Like this one again. Has triple crit damage attack with attack percent and accuracy. They're quite low rolls. They have offensive and defensive stats. I don't know if I would risk it, honestly. I don't know if this one would be. This might be an idea. Let me double check. Let me check other stuff. So that could be an idea that I could use it on. This one again, triple triple crit rate below rolls. And with the speed, this might be another option. But like I said, I would prefer a quad one. Again, this one's triple speed. Obviously, I'm not going to use it on that one. So from what I've seen on my pieces, because obviously when I roll stuff, if I see that they're all be flats, I would sell it. I would never keep it. So I have the option of either keeping this legendary one to use it later for like a quad bad piece or I would use it now like I think I've looked on the option that I was thinking to use it on but I don't know if it's going to be as helpful or not is like I mentioned earlier there's that uh, the banner so let's try our luck with the banner I guess I have a reaction banner for high elves that rolled me let me see okay this one's like a defense percent it rolled me one HP percent and it rolled me triple attack percent. This is definitely a bad one. 
Obviously on this one I would love it to roll me triple speed, hopefully. But, you know, I don't know how lucky we're gonna be. So, you know what? Might as well try it. I mean, we're lucky on the previous one, maybe we're lucky on the, this one, or maybe this one's gonna suck. You never know, because this one could roll into like a triple flat. You ha don't have that many options, like on the, on the banners, it can only roll you speed, or attack, defense, and HP as flats, or percentages. So I guess the lower the chances, the lower the options of, that it can roll you, the higher the chances to roll something good. So I guess, okay, wish me luck, let's see, can we get something good or bad on this one? Okay, accuracy, okay, defense, HP, attack, and triple flat HP. So like I said, this one sucks. So this is like uh, an example of it can be a bad thing and it will be triple HP. I have no idea if I'm ever gonna use this on anybody. It has no speed on it. Previously didn't have a speed, it was defense with triple attack percent. I don't know who I could have used it in uh, Hiles. Like reaction is something you care for plat. So on, on plat, usually trying to get this on a defensive champ. The reason I rolled this one for high elves, even though Arbiter isn't as used in plat, it can be used for 3v3 arena. And in like where I am in gold 3, gold 4, it can be useful. Like you might survive, you might come back, revive everybody and, and get another go. So this one was a total fail, I guess. But I'm really happy with the glove that I got earlier. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, you can only use this once. You can only re uh, rework your pieces once, which is kind of annoying, but well, it is what it is. I guess it's, it's Let's say it's a step in the right direction, even though it's like, as usual, it's not perfect. It's a mild implementation from Plarium, but I guess it's it's a step in the in the right direction from from Plarium uh, towards helping us to try and you know, I guess limit the amount that we farm. You know, because let's say you wouldn't farm as much, you just roll more stuff up. You'll farm less, roll more stuff up, hope to get those those triple quads in whatever, and try your luck with with the with the chaos sword anyway i've rambled uh, i've rambled for enough i hope you've enjoyed this guys and i'm really happy for that the first one the second one was bad and i guess i will see you all in the next video peace love you all bye guys